Hey yo, it's me Harper Savage and today we're working on Inktober. Today's prompt is flock. So let's get the sketchbook open. I got my pencil and my eraser. Let's get started. I'm thinking I'm going to do like some seagulls. But to do seagulls, I'm going to have to have like a background. I'm thinking like a beach. Have like a beach, you know, beach. With the, the sand and the, the water. You have some clouds. Have the tide coming in. Yeah, so uh yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um let me make this a bit more even over here. Honestly, I'm probably not going to need to erase too much. I'm just erasing the clouds because they're gonna be, you know, white-ish. So I don't want any pencil marks in that. I'm gonna Tidy up this line a little bit. It's gonna leave enough so I know where to end. Okay, so it's basically all gone. There's just smudges here and there. So I think I'm gonna be using um my watercolor ink, but I also want to use my regular ink. And the the Bombay stuff kind of dries with the, like a shine to it, like a satin shine to it. I want to take advantage of that and this dries pretty matte so I think I'm going to use the aqua inks for sand and then um and maybe the sky too and then for the water I'm going to use the inks like the Bombay inks well yeah let's go ahead and get into it all right so I have yellow black and blue mixed the black is just so I can make the yellow maybe not so bright and the blue is going to be the sky yellow is going to attempt to be the sand here I'm going to paint like straight across like how I had it. I didn't tape it off. It's too late now. I'm gonna paint some yellow like a little further back than where the line was because I want it to blend into the ink. Uh, like touch a little bit of black into it, make it not so bright. And I'm gonna spray it just a little. Move on to the sky. and then we're just gonna wait for this to dry a little bit. All right, so I swatched some of my inks over here because I don't want the sky and the, the water to look too similar. I've decided on teal. I really want that like sand color to show through so I don't want to paint too much over it. I want it to be like thicker and thinner, have some like movement to it. I'm gonna go in and put a little bit more on the sky here. Alright, so I wanna try something with this white ink here. 
I don't have a use for it, so I wanted to see if maybe it'll work with the watercolor. Kind of make clouds. Because this white is super transparent, I figured I could just try to, while it's still wet, have like wisps of clouds in it. It doesn't really look like it's doing. I'll just like mark out where I want the clouds to be and I'll go over it with my Pascas or something later. Eh, I gave it a shot. I don't really know what this white's for because it doesn't work. So I used up all the ink that I wasn't using on this page and um, this is kind of dry. The white stuff's still not dry yet. I don't know what that's about. But I think I might actually do another layer on the water here but not have it watered down because it, it it's not shiny like it usually is when it's ink. So I'm gonna go back in and put maybe some streaks in it or something. I think I want to try to add in a touch of this regular, like, blue color. Just a little. If it doesn't work out, I'll just paint over it. Mostly, like, in the back, where it's supposed to be getting darker. And I'm gonna wait for it to dry again. Okay, it should be dry. Some of this is still sticky, but I hope it'll dry by the time I'm ready to work there. Also, by the way, uh, sorry for the naked hand in that last clip there. I had literally just gotten done cleaning all my supplies when I decided uh, I needed to do more to this. <laughs> But now it's looking shiny like I had intended. I guess watering down the ink makes the shininess go away, so I'll keep that in mind for any future use. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and draw in some clouds and sea foam with my Posca marker now. If this won't go over the stickiness, I'll get out my bleed proof and work it on it with a brush. Or there was like a thing. <laughs> if I want the clouds to be solid or anything so I'm kind of coloring them in the same way I colored in the foam.
All right, it is now time to do the prompt part, which is flock. And I, you know, came up with this beach scene because when I looked up the word flock, I knew what it was. I just, you know, wanted to make sure birds were considered flock. I know it's always like a flock of sheep. Wanted to make sure that I didn't make up the whole bird thing. It recommended flock of seagulls, which I think that's like a band too, but I'm like, oh, beach seagulls, I'll do seagulls. So let's get into doing the seagull part. Now I'm going to use the technique any good artist will use to make my seagulls. Watch carefully. Yep, that's it. That's gonna be my flock. Sorry if you're disappointed. Maybe have some not like fully down. Fully down wings, have some V's, along with our M's. This is my drawing for Flock. I know it's a bit cheap, but <laughs> I do actually really like it. I like how the water turned out especially. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to do all the cool youtube -y things of comment, liking, and subscribing. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!